If you're like me, maybe you have some TV remotes laying around. But hey, before thinking about getting rid of them, think about giving a new life to at least one of them. In this video you will learn how to use a TV remote to power on and off your 3D printer with a very small set of components. For this project you will need one microcontroller. In this case I'm using an Arduino Nano, but you can also use an Arduino Uno or Mega. One infrared receiver module. You can get one of these for really cheap or simply recycle it from old electronic devices. A capacitor for filtering. A relay module. You can also get these for few money, but in my case I built my own one by recycling the relay from another broken device. Here is very important that you choose the proper relay. The one I have here can handle 240 volts AC and a maximum of 10 amperes. Make sure you choose the proper relay according to your printer, otherwise things can go very wrong. You will also need a protoboard and some wires. And finally, a TV remote. Don't worry if you don't have one laying around. You can easily use those useless buttons that come basically with every single TV remote. Let's get started. I start by sticking the Arduino Nano to the breadboard. Then I connect and wire the components according to the following schematic. The datasheet of the infrared receiver module describes the three pins as follows. One for the voltage supply, another is for ground and the infrared signal will be read from the third pin. Once everything is connected, I proceed to connect the Arduino to my computer. Now the question is, how do we read the data coming from the remote using the Arduino? Well, there is a cool Arduino library called iRemote that allows to read data from a TV remote using an infrared receiver. You just need to install it from the Arduino IDE. Simply upload the receive demo sketch from the Arduino IDE to the microcontroller and open the serial monitor to see the command values you get from the remote. You see, every single button on the TV remote is associated with a command value, normally given as hexadecimal. This value will allow to determine which button was pressed. For the relay module you will need to connect an external power supply. I'm using a 5V DC power supply. Using the 5V pin of the Arduino to supply the relay is a bad idea. Don't do it. Use an external power supply instead. Now the signal for operating the relay comes from one of the digital pins of the microcontroller. The code needed to read the data from the remote and operate the relay is pretty simple and you can find it in the description down below. Simply download it and upload it to the Arduino. I built a very simple test setup off camera in order to check that everything is working fine. I connected the phase of the mains voltage to the common of the relay module and the output is connected to the 3D printer. Be very careful when handling mains voltage because you could die or result severely hurt due to an electric shock. This particular relay module is a SPDT, which means that you can switch and connect one input to two different outputs. I first tested everything with mains voltage disconnected from the relay and then I switched it on. The relay does its click when I press the power button on my TV remote. Finally, I used a bit of hot glue to stick the components to the 3D printer's frame in order to have a cleaner setup. I might have created a small circuit board for the infrared receiver and the Arduino, but honestly I have been recently breathing a lot of toxic fumes from soldering many circuit boards. My lungs needed a break. So now let me show you the system working. I don't want to be constantly turning the printer on and off, so that's why I first let the printer to boot and then I can turn it off again. But hey, that's not all you can do. 
By tweaking the code a bit and taking advantage of the Octoprint API, you can use your TV remote to command your printer to do other things, like homing or jogging. You can also enjoy your favorite music with an awesome quality. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to know more about controlling the printer with the Octoprint API. That's all for now. I hope you learned something and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more. I'll see you next time.